are. I am the county of Irving County. This is the county council, ladies and gentlemen. Any decision or direction that is taking place that, that this staff is undertaking is because of you. That's how things happen here. The history of this county is that this council directs what takes place. I'm concerned with the solid language that we're getting into. This is being this disruptive. I have a, I have a couple of questions before I enter into my comments that I need for clarification to understand. What is it that will happen at the end of these 12 months? Council Director, to you, what is it you expect will happen? How will direction be given back to staff? Will there be a vote up or down on this issue? Is it anticipated that we're going to all conclude and the public will then say they approve of this thing? Is there an anticipation that at some point the public are not going to be disapproving of site for a month? I did list in my um, my talk. I said what do people expect to happen during the North Garden, and I have uh, six, seven items. At the conclusion, um, and, and, and at the conclusion, once those once those items are completed, I would expect that there would be a presentation back to the council, and then we would vote on what we will see on the other side. Yeah, let, let's be honest. Whether, whether everything has been completed, and said, yes, I have a question. Let's be honest. I have asked um, very large organizations in my town, the Federal Society of Town Shoreline Association, so I said to them at the end of this moratorium, the studies are done, and they do show that the science is there, we do accept that, and the recommendation has been yes. So if the studies are done, if they show that the science is safe, we have to obviously honor that. It shows that there are problems. So you have one entity that has said that at the end of this process, they will be prepared to stand down their opposition to it. I don't think there's members of this council that at the conclusion are going to be willing to, to support the site. So, so I have concerns with that. I have great <laughs> concerns with the question around where is the garden going to go for the 12 months? Oh. Where is the garden going to go post the 12 months? What is the solution? I have questions for the municipalities, the three municipalities of the four who are saying they want this moratorium. We don't want to see gardens going to say 41. What have you done beyond what the county of Simcoe has done to reduce gardens? Coming Send it to the other side! The neighboring municipalities. Where is the sincere level of credibility that's being established that this is truly an environmental issue? Where's your sincere credibility? Leadership from this corporation, from this staff, and what we've done to reduce the amount of garbage going into landfill and the organic program that's been launched that one of the speakers alluded to that's been completely lost in a reduction program that has been unprecedented in Brown's Ontario. I have questions about what we do from here on in. I did not support spending another $500,000 on this site to fill in a hole that we have created with the anticipation that in six more months we're going to take the hole back in. Is that really the direction that you're talking about for the 12 month moratorium? How irresponsible can we be? Does anybody know what the environmental impact of that would be? Is anybody in this room know what Basil needs it? Has anybody thought about the environmental impacts, never mind the financial impact, of the decision you're about to make? I have absolutely no faith in our ability to stand, withstand the, 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 the direction of organizations that are able to influence this body. I've had people tell me they're going to vote in opposition to this site even though they're in favor of it. I've had people tell me they're going to go into opposition to it because their council at home voted to it. I've had people tell me they're going to vote in opposition to it because their campaign team told me to vote in opposition to it. This is not a decision being made for this house for the good of this corporation. I think we have to be fair 
and honest with one another. Night to the office. Night to the office to work in this county. I said we would stop the process. We had, it had all its approvals before I took work, took office's work. I said we would look at all the alternatives. We hired a bus. We drove every one of you down to the Jewel Region and Center Reader and looked at alternatives. And you sit here today and say, I didn't know. Nobody's told me about an alternative. Nobody's looked it up. That was the purpose of that event. Then we held a waste management committee meeting in, the, in these chambers. We were all sat here again. We offered opportunity to everybody to come and give you up. Anybody could have put forward an alternative. Let's look at incineration. Let's look at classical. Let's look at alternatives. Not one resolution has ever come on this floor. Not one. I don't think that there's any question that the direction that this corporation has taken is 100% sound. That our staff has done everything they did. This is not a vote today about whether or not we've done the right thing. It's not a vote whether we've done things properly or legally or anything else. This is just a question about are we able to make a difficult decision. And I'm confident to say today that we are not. We established a waste management subcommittee with the intention of you having the opportunity to vet your ideas and your options and your, and your, and your things that you're contacted about. Anything that's come to us has gone through the waste management subcommittee, and I have not heard one recommendation come out of that committee that has said we were to look at that. Councillors have come back to vacations with ideas, and I've said bring them to the waste management subcommittee. I never see those on the minutes. I never see anything on the minutes for any of us that brought forward an alternative. Eight to ten million dollars is what the figure was when I took over as work that's been spent on the financial site. I've never seen one there before. The rumor is now, and I'm not, uh, I'm not 100% sure what the figure is, but it's 12 million plus. And, and here we go again with hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of dollars more to spend on the site, only to put it out for a year to see if we can all make a collective decision at that point. I'm here to tell you that I will not support one year more authority. And I will not support a three month more authority. I will support exactly the council to stop the site completely and get out of the garbage business all together and let the public figure out their own solutions. tremendous amount of responsibility. These people provide services to those most vulnerable in our community. A $450 million corporation led by great people, a great staff who care, genuinely care, the people who provide the services here, to 450,000 residents. And we continually show our weakness on this one issue that represents less than 1% of the services we provide. It's disgraceful. Comments that have been made today by members of council who said this is about putting garbage on water. Members of this council, this is about putting garbage on water. I don't think we can get past that. We can't educate the 32 people here. If this is not putting garbage on water, then I think we need to move on to these things. It can't be this divisive issue. We can't have 16 people, not talking to 16 people, and we're a board of 32 people who are elected to do really important and responsible things in the direction of this corporation. So this 12-month moratorium nonsense is just a scam to waste a lot of taxpayers' money. Stop the construction! Quit wasting money! Don't spend any more! You're all going to look at it and say, I was told by a guy who disagrees with me. There's a guy out there who disagrees with me, and that's all we need. You've heard that today. As long as there's a guy who disagrees with me, we can't move forward on anything. 
So I ask you, please, 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 to seriously consider what it is you're asking this corporation to do. To waste another minimum million dollars? To get us into a situation where 12 months from now, the heat turns up again, and we sit here all day looking at each other trying to find ways to address the political situation? Your Worship, with all due respect, I've, I've sat here and been chastised for my uh, particular motives for my decision making. I have to believe that we have a serious governance issue because if we're going to sit here and look at one another and try to decide why we're deciding the way we decide, I don't know what we're doing. Because I honestly believe that we all sit here with the interests of people in mind and our residents in mind and we make the best possible decision. I mean, I
She's not gonna go party then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now that they've passed the moratorium, what uh, what's next on the agenda to stop dump site 41? Well, right now the moratorium that they pass is for one year. Uh, there's the, a good possibility that in a month there'll be a second vote. Uh, one of the councillors is going to bring a second vote forward to um, to stop dump, dump site 41 for good. No moratorium or anything, just to stop it, so that we no no further construction there of a dump. So that's uh, that's an interesting opportunity. Uh, outside of that, though, the the most important thing that we can do is get hold of uh, all the information that they've been withholding from us. 
and, and have a really close look at it and show um, the show the, the results well show what they've been hiding from us um, with with modeling with modeling what they what they give you isn't necessarily even if they're trying their best it's not necessarily the truth um, it's a prediction and so now that they've already started uh, the construction, they found all these other indications that the, the upward gradient of the water isn't the way it's, it was expected to be, and it doesn't actually uh, fulfill the terms of the, the certificate of approval. So there's, I think there's going to be extra opportunities there to get more information uh, and to, to get them to do some more testing. Uh, if, we, if we still have to kill it, if we don't win again in a month to kill it for good, then we have to get some more testing done, some more boreholes dug. Uh, we have to understand why uh, the dewatering caused the wells in the area to go all silty the way they did. Um, on a bigger picture, I think we really also have to talk to the MOE and, and get the MOE to understand, the Ministry of the Environment has to understand that their approvals process doesn't work. That it's, it's, it's really not democratic. It doesn't give uh, people the, the correct opportunity, uh, a good enough opportunity to understand what's going on. And it doesn't give the ministry enough understanding of what's going on either. Uh, I think uh, anytime they're not looking at the calibrations, the mod flow calibrations, then uh, we can be sure that uh, in any case, if they don't do that, that there's opportunity for uh, problems to occur, and they have to do that. You did it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>